Hey friends, welcome to my channel, Organized with Joy, and welcome back to another Thoughtful Thursday video. And if you're new to my channel, I just wanted to let you know that my name is Joy and I like to do these Thoughtful Thursday videos just as a way for you to get to know me a little bit better. I know it's kind of hard to get to know the person behind somebody who's doing a cleaning or organization video. So that is why I like to share these Thoughtful Thursday videos with you. And in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you about aging gracefully. Now, I don't necessarily have all the answers on this one and I will let you in on a little secret. I actually am so afraid of aging and I think it more so has to do with um, my body deteriorating and not being able to do the things that it used to once be able to do. I don't like some of the things that come along with aging just uh, the gray hair and it's harder to keep weight off and all the vain things. So I definitely don't like that idea, but it's primarily that I want my body to be able to continue to do whatever it does now or what it could do in the past. But that doesn't matter anyway because that is not the type of aging gracefully I'm going to be talking about. I am not talking about like physically aging gracefully, but instead um, like emotionally, mentally, that sort of aging gracefully. So the first thing I wanted to say about aging gracefully is something that is a bit cliche and that is we aren't promised tomorrow. So we really should just live every day to the fullest and find ways to um, really be intentional with our days and with our time. With that in mind, I wanted to share that it really is never too late to start something new. I always say age is just a number. We don't have to feel like we're too old to do this or too old to do that. Honestly, I probably would have started my YouTube channel a year earlier if it wasn't for one of the things that I was feeling was I'm too old to have a YouTube channel. But I think that that's ridiculous and I've seen several older YouTubers that I really appreciate and enjoy. So I'm glad that I just went ahead and took the plunge and decided to go ahead and start my YouTube channel. But truly, it's never too late to do something that you want to do. I love this quote that I found from George Eliot and it says, it's never too late to be what you might have been. And I love this idea. I think sometimes what prevents us from starting something is because we feel like we're too late. And I just wanna encourage you that you aren't too late. Whatever you want to do, you could do it now. I remember when my daughter was in high school, she wanted to take ballet lessons. And she took ballet lessons when she was like, a preschooler, maybe three or four, you know, just like a lot of little girls do. But all of a sudden she just decided she wanted to learn ballet. And I was like, you know what? I want to learn ballet too. And so her and I took ballet lessons. We ended up taking some private lessons and we took a couple of classes and I actually took a class without her after she had quit. So I definitely was like, I know that I don't remember how old I was at the time, probably like 38, 40 years old. I was like, I've never done ballet a day in my life, but I'm gonna do this with my daughter. And it was so fun. Kind of along with that idea is the next thing that I wanted to talk about, and that is to never stop learning and growing. I think sometimes we kind of hit a wall in life and we feel like we're just coasting, we're sailing, We've, you know, got our kids, we've got the house, we've got all the things and, you know, there's nothing new. Everything is just kind of the same and we're just in this rut. And I think that that is the best time to reevaluate and say, what is something new that I can learn? And I'm telling you, starting my YouTube channel was a really great thing for me in this regard because I had so much learning to do. I 
didn't even know how to film, I didn't know how to edit, I didn't know anything about the back-end work of YouTube and the description box and all the things that came along with it. And so I really encourage you to just keep learning. If there is something that you thought you might wanna learn, go for it. Find a way to learn. There is so much information on the internet. You can basically learn anything on the internet these days. So definitely keep learning and also growing as a person. I think um, that is something that I try to do, whether that is reading self-help help books or just reading books in general that will help you grow as a person. Or um, for me, it's definitely growing in my faith and reading the Bible daily and talking to friends about what I'm learning through God's word. So we constantly just should be learning and growing. The next point that I wanted to make is that for people who are older, again, kind of coasting in life, you know, you've, like I mentioned, you've got kind of all the things out of the way. You, um, you know, graduated from college or maybe just high school. You got married, you had kids, you did all the things. I feel like for those people, fun is really underrated. I think a lot of times we just, just get out of the habit of, of being fun and doing fun things. And so I definitely encourage you to find things that you think are fun and go for it. Whether it's going out and dancing with your friends or maybe it's something as crazy as skydiving, who knows? But there are so many things that are fun and I think it's very underrated. I think to have fun periodically definitely helps us to feel young still. And in conjunction with doing fun things is don't lose your whimsy. And that just means, you know, finding um, joy and finding fun and just everyday ordinary things and just finding ways to make things fun. And uh, I wanted to share this story. The other day I was on my run and I noticed somebody had made a hopscotch um, game on the sidewalk. And at, for a minute, for a split second, I thought, hey, I should do that hopscotch thing. And I was like, that's ridiculous. I'm an adult. There are people that might see me do this and that's dumb. Also, I have my dog on the leash, so, you know, making excuses. And then I was like, no, I don't care if people see me. I am going to do this hopscotch game. I mean, what is it, like six jumps or something? More than likely, even if somebody saw me, they'd be like, I want to be friends with her. She's fun. She has whimsy. So definitely, you know, find ways that you can just find fun and be playful in the everyday moments. Lastly, I wanted to share when you are aging, it's important to continue to cultivate joy and hope in your life. I think as we get older, sometimes we just feel like we're on the downhill slide and what is there for me in the future? And I know for me, um, our youngest is 17, so we're on the preface, preface, what is that word? Preface. How do you say that word? We're on the edge. We're on the edge of being empty nesters, and that can be really scary, especially for me. I mostly stayed at home all throughout my children's um, growing up years. Um, I had a couple of part-time jobs, and now I run this small business organized with joy. But for the most part, my kids have been a big part of my job or what I'm doing. And so it can be really scary to think about what's beyond that. But instead of feeling afraid and instead of dreading this you know, change in life, I think we could have a shift in perspective and think about all of the beautiful things that are gonna come out of a new season. And so I'm, I've been trying to do that and just trying to dream and be excited about the next season instead of dreading it. I think it's important to just have hope for your future no matter what age you are. And that is all a part of aging gracefully is really just having hope for the future and being 
thankful for what you have and having joy for what is going on in your life. Well, that is all I have for you in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I would love to hear from you down in the comments. Please share with me different ways that you think you can age gracefully. I would love to hear from you. Well, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.